Yes. Yeah, so what I'll say is like, um, now that like uh, we're not doing that, <laughs> uh, <laughs> is I get to, um, because of the way things are now, I get to kind of pick and choose what shoots I do. And uh, so like recently I just did a bunch of Halloween shoots uh, oh, for yeah. some friends. Like I had like some friends who dressed up in like Silent Hill costumes. So like one of them was like Pyramid yes. Head and another one was Pyramid Head. Nurse, and their, their kids were like, uh, one of them was like, um, Oh, I forget the, the little girl's name, but in the in the purple dress, I forget her name now, but um was her and like and the other one was like one of the other villains that are in the series and like we did some really cool like green screen photography for it and like oh, that's cool. um put them like inside of Silent Hill for like Halloween and that was like a lot of fun. You know? Well, that's awesome. So yeah, I, it's uh... cool. Uh, I, I tried to find your photography Instagram because I know in your YouTube um, about you, you have it listed there, but I, I just couldn't find it for some reason. Yeah, maybe, uh, well, maybe I am I am Chris Pearson wrong. photography. <laughs> in, uh, oh, okay. And in, in your about though, it says like Chris photographer eighty eighty nine or something like that. Oh yeah, I, I need to change that. It was like my old one before I changed it to actually just Chris Pearson photography. Okay. I will, I will look that up. Uh, I'll absolutely drop a follow. Yes, please do. And drop me a message so I can follow you on yours as well. Okay, cool, cool. You see a lot of kind of stuff that, that I do like that there. A lot of like my um, stuff from traveling, some stuff from Thailand and uh, like Haiti and places like that when I've gone and done Ooh. some kind of uh, um, environmental photography and stuff there. Um, oh, nice. I had like a commission to do like a... Um, a uh, like airbender style uh oh, okay. shoot one time yeah, where she brought this so cool. she she brought this glass ball and she was like can we what can we do with this so i i ended up doing like three different shoots with her where like i had her like sit down on one thing and we threw up a bunch of rocks and i took photos each time and then we like blended them all together so that she's like sat there and there's all these rocks in the air around her and then we did another one where like i added flames around the ball so it was like she was holding like a ball of flame and then wow. one like we did with water where like i had her like throw the ball in between her hands and then i threw water awesome. at, it at the same time and it like really like it looks like it's like a ball of water that she's kind of like bending in the air it's really cool that sounds that's, that's unreal. oh my gosh yeah, it was yeah. a lot of fun, and, like, I love doing stuff like that now, do you know what I mean? Like, stuff I can just experiment with and have fun with, and... Now, yeah. do you have yeah. any, um, any photography tricks that you have learned with, like, lighting? One of the coolest things, um, that I, we have a friend named Andy, and he does, um, like, a prolonged exposure with, like, a little bright light, and he'll, like, draw around you in the air, and That's like cool. it does like a glow effect behind you and we, yeah. we did a lot of really cool photos with that um especially after my wedding um we were outside yeah. and he like drew yeah. a wedding carriage with it and it looks oh, like we're wow. in a yeah it's he did all kinds of cool stuff he's, he's very creative but do you have any tricks like that that you found besides uh that avatar shoot that you like well so like a lot like i say a lot of my stuff is like um is like natural lighting i do a lot of stuff with natural lighting but one thing that i do use a lot is uh these things which are like uh um, oh yeah you gotta know, have the prism yeah i got one in my stuff as well oh, what just like do? for reflecting light you like you like put that right into your like right up on front of your lens and it'll have really cool like lens flares and color flares and yeah. like all these That's amazing really things or you can like sometimes if you get it right you can like do mirror images like of other parts of the image and it comes up with some really cool stuff so i i tend to use those a lot that sounds That's awesome, awesome. now is, awesome. It, is yeah. it like a predictable thing like it kind of gives you the same effect or does it kind of depend on the light that's around you let's see if i can uh make it do it on this oh yeah put it right up to the camera yeah so nice. <laughs> there you've got like just normal reflections but if you oh it's, neat. it's not more difficult with this cam with this camera but like you can see like the the reflections are in there for some reason i cannot seem to get the uh i think it's got such a shallow depth of field this camera that it's not allowing me to get the reflections but you'll see like flares will fly off and everything if you get the the angle right um and then it, it just comes up with some really cool stuff that's awesome yeah, that's yeah really definitely cool. yeah yeah that's like i i say like i i like experimenting with my photography and getting some like 
all these different effects that you can do in camera is like a big thing for me so like i enjoy like that kind of stuff i do a lot of neon photography or i i, I went Ooh. for a phase of doing a lot of that you know yeah uh, like i think like the rest of the world there was this time when <laughs> everybody started doing like neon photography and stuff when stranger things had first came out and stuff like that yeah you know? Oh, there's a, there's that neon photographer I forget uh uh Brandon Wolfel right Brandon yeah, Wolfel is a, yeah he's famous. amazing oh. yeah I'm I'm a fan yeah same love his stuff and I actually did his um I actually did his course on Skillshare he has a course on there he does like one or two courses oh, okay. I think, but like I did one of his workshops on there it was a lot of fun let's check that out yeah definitely yeah. all right well, well, uh, try get 